Looks like it's shaping up to be an exciting tournament. Well, although the very, very big names in SA Poker unfortunately aren't at this feature table, there's some good up and coming players like uh, Stuart Brody in your shot at the moment. But you can tell from the chip leaderboard of the tournament that the big names are out and about. They are in the tournament room, and well, through the season, we'll get to see them, I'm sure. Looks like Harris is trying to set a record. He's, I think he's played every hand that we've showed today. Well, certainly one thing about Gordon Harris is he's come here and he is going to get his money worth, Caitlin. He's not going to go home being bored, yeah. and he's certainly not going to go home not having fun. And, well, this is our first chance to see Tony Sneeder. Now, he's a software designer who actually played a sit-and-go, a 10-seater last night. And uh, I suppose having designed the software for the poker online uh, gaming community, he probably has a bit of skill, and he won the sit-and-go, and here he is today. So, obviously he knows what he's doing, and, well... Vanessa? Looks like he's got a bit of form if he won last night and he's yeah. doing pretty well today. And he certainly likes to play premium stuff. We haven't seen him play the 5-10s and the King 3s and all that garbage that uh, our mate Gordon Harris has played. He's come along with Queen 10 of clubs. And Mortimer, your man, has got Queen 10 of diamonds. So, will they both find something friendly? And Gordon Harris, well, he's got what's commonly referred to as the nickel and dime hand. It's the 5 and the 10. So, uh, there it is, the 10, the, the, the jack, the 7, the king. So, Mortimer and Sneedon both with straight draws. No one else really hitting anything. Um, Harris could try to interpret that as a running straight or a flash draw. What is this 3-2 garbage? <laughs> I mean, I've never watched a, a poker episode before where 3-2 gets played here like it's the nuts. It's unbelievable. Well, maybe they're, they're trying to turn, give it a name. They'll, they want to be like you and like, get a hand, give it a name, make it famous. Caitlin, please, <laughs> enough of you. <laughs> The turn will bring the nine. Now that makes the nuts straight for both Mortimer and Sneedon, but... Mortimer's got the flush draw as well. Now for those of us that don't understand what uh, exactly is happening here, Mortimer and Sneedon both have the nuts. Now the difference is that Mortimer is what they call his free rolling. He can't lose this hand, but Sneedon can. Now when you're free rolling, it means that you're in a situation that worst case scenario for you, you'll chop the pot if the, if the river brings a dead card. But, in a situation such as this, if the diamond does arrive on the river, Sneedon's nut straight will disappear. You would think that Vladko had learned from Harris about playing 3-2 that it doesn't really win. Well, on this board, he's not really doing that great, no. Now, how will Mortimer play this? He's got the nut straight, and he's got a flush draw to boot. This could be all the money here. Well, there's been a bet, a raise, and a re-raise, and now it's up to Jared again. You first name basis with him, eh, um, Caitlin? Right. That's how I roll, Dave. Okay. So hand is hotting up. The Two nine. sit and go software developer has now been asked another question. He has got the nuts at this point. He's considering the situation. There's not really much beating him here, so there's no reason for him not to call. Well, there's nothing beating him at this point. There's only a draw that could possibly beat him. He is going to... So it was a 2009. He's definitely going to be calling, but I would see no reason why he wouldn't put the raise in here and uh, get all the money in. Unless he looks to trap. If the guy has got a set or two pairs, you get another river plus bet. But it's gone plus six, so he has put the raise in. Well, this is going to be all the money. I don't see Mortimer. I think he's got just under 6,000 there anyway. So for him to just call is an all in. This will be all the money here, I presume. It's a re raise of 6,000. And there it is, the baby goes in and snap call. Both players have got the nuts. But will Mortimer find the diamond? Ah, yeah. oh, there's the red lights. We finally get to see the all in action and look at them swirling and twirling all the way around. Yep, I feel like I've won eight seven. It's a disco. What was that club call that we used to go to, Caitlin, back in my day? Uh, I, I, I think I was 10 then, Dave. Uh, no, you probably that weren't. You're probably <laughs> naught. Uh, masquerade. Mas it looks like Masquerade back in 1990 when Vanilla Ice was big on the charts. That was pretty obvious, I guess. Yeah, well, I thought someone had eight. So, Arms is out of his chair. Will he find the diamond? He does find the diamond. The free roller comes good. And a massive pod for Mortimer with almost 30,000 chips. Well, Tony Sneedon, this is not how my software works. My <laughs> software doesn't give him the diamond. What's going on here? Tony, you're wrong. Your diamond always comes in your software. <laughs> Believe me, I know. 
So it's Mortimer who picks up a massive 30,000 chip pot at this stage of the tournament is really going to be very helpful. You'd think that if Harris is playing so many hands, shouldn't he at least be raising to kind of get people out of them? Well, with that hand, he certainly should be raising because that Famous is a ver stuff. very pretty hand, those little baby girls of mine. <laughs> anyway, so he just flat calls again like he always does. Anthony also comes along with the ace 10. Gareth Anthony hasn't been involved in many pots that we've seen today. I don't think he's played any hands so far. Well, from what I could tell you, you've got the guys that are here to spend money a la... Plus. Harris, Harris, and possibly Don Dobronovic, and then it's the guys who are basically playing the rebar period, pretty solid, and they're not looking to spend money. They're going to pick up the pots as they go, as they go along, playing legitimate hands, which at this stage I think at 5,000 rand a rebar is not necessarily a bad. I think it's a pretty good strategy. Right, so here we go. Anthony hits the ace, Dobronovic hits the king, Harris hits the uh, muck. And Dobronovic will come out firing at that king, but Anthony straight back over the top. That's, uh, I think, a Paisley design, um, if I'm not mistaken, Caitlin. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'll have to go home and Google it, but I'll, I'll let you know. Well, okay. I haven't seen Paisley much in the, since 1987. You, you see it more on wallpaper than you do on clothes, so... Maybe that is wallpaper you do. <laughs> A wallpaper bandana. Keeps you warm. Probably pretty sticky, but cool. <laughs> At least you know it won't fall off when you get excited yeah, in the wall in. While we're rambling, Dobrinovich <laughs> is very thoughtful here. Has Anthony got the ace? you got to think that if Anthony hasn't played many hands, when he does put in a big bet, he must be pretty strong. If you oh. know that, Caitlin, oh. I would hope that oh. he knows yeah, that. Yeah, but Dave, I, I learned from you, so... Oh. Please don't learn anything from me, <laughs> Caitlin. That is why I'm the commentator and we are sitting here. Anyway, Anthony puts in the raise, picks up the pot. Right, pair of threes for Rami. And he's found a set against aces, obviously. Obviously. And those aces belong to Evro. How do you say surname, Caitlin? I have no idea. That's why, that's why I know his first name is Evro. All right, Evro <laughs> will be out of his seat. He'll feel very black and hot sore about those aces being snapped by little baby threes. But if you're in a hand against Ray Rami, watch out. And look at that Ray Rami stack already. Right, so fours is another set. King, queen. Who do we have? Justin Lowe against and Robbie, Robbie Sham. Sham. Can he run good with the fours? How's this hand going to pan out? Robbie looks pretty comfortable. So does Justin for that matter. Very friendly time of the tournament, this rebuy phase. Nobody can go home. The board runs out. The queen straight out. Oh, two queens for low. May as well get it done on the flop. Don't waste any time. Whoa! Four and queen! What is going on here? <laughs> Robbie Shab hits the two-outer. And Justin Lowe hits the one-outer on the river.